We are at Lake and Wacker, again in downtown Chicago. One of Chicago's probably longest lasting and most loved ghost stories is that of Resurrection Mary. She is known as uh, Chicago's vanishing hitchhiker. Uh, now, vanishing hitchhiking stories are very common all across the world. Now, the ghost of Resurrection Mary, we don't exactly know who she is, and she doesn't haunt this location. She generally haunts the uh, stretch of Archer Avenue in the southwest suburbs near Resurrection Cemetery, where we believe these girls are buried. Now, there are several candidates to be Resurrection Mary. One of them is a young factory worker named Mary Brigovi. She was a Bohemian immigrant who lived on South Damon Avenue in a neighborhood of Chicago called Back of the Yards. She loved to go dancing on the weekends whenever she was off. Normally her and her friends would go dancing in the ballrooms out in the suburbs, but those tend to close early. So if they wanted to keep the night going, they came into downtown Chicago. This particular night, her and three other friends came down here. They were driving either back home or somewhere else when the driver of the car turned off of Wacker Drive onto Lake Street. He claims that he did not see the big pillars that hold up the elevated track, and he crashed headfirst into that elevated post. Of the four people in the car, only Mary Bergovi was thrown from it and killed instantly. Interestingly enough, she had just, sadly for her, she had just changed seats with her friend. She was sitting in the back seat, the friend was sitting in the front seat, wasn't getting along with the driver, begged her to change seats, and they did, just before the crash happened. Now, how she became a popular candidate to be Chicago's Resurrection Mary is shortly after being buried in Resurrection Cemetery. Her friends noticed her hitchhiking along the road near the cemetery, wearing the same dress that she would have been wearing the night that she died. Cemetery workers called John Satala, the owner of the Satala Funeral Home, where her wake happened. He said that several of his workmen in the cemetery had seen the spirit of this young girl who they just recently buried roaming around the cemetery, especially at night. And that young girl was Mary Bergovi. Now, there are many famous ghost stories regarding Resurrection Mary. In 1939, and this story was actually on the show Unsolved Mysteries. You're on a dark, lonely road. The shadows seem to reach for you. The sudden rustle of leaves makes you jump. Your heart beats faster and faster. You assume it's your imagination. Unless you're on the road to Resurrection Cemetery, just southwest of Chicago. In 1939, a gentleman named Jerry Palis and a couple of his friends, I think one of them was his brother also, went to the Liberty Grove uh, dance hall. That night, he said he saw this young lady, young blonde lady, standing in the corner near the back wall, not talking to anybody, very quietly. He went up to her, she was very pretty, asked her if she wanted to dance. She agreed to dance with him. They dance a few dances. He gets to know her. They start talking a little bit. He said her hands felt very cold to the touch. She seemed very pale in complexion, didn't say a whole lot. She did say her name was Mary. At the end of the night, he kissed her and asked if he could drive her home. She agreed. She told them that she lived on South Damon Avenue in the back of the Yards neighborhood. But first, if they could take her down Archer Avenue near the, in the other direction. And he thought, that's odd. Why would you want to go that way? That's a whole opposite direction from where you told me you live. But she insisted she needed to go down Archer Avenue first. So he was like, okay, we'll do that. And as they were heading down Archer Avenue, they get near the gates of Resurrection Cemetery. She says, stop. Whoever was driving the car stopped. She says, this is where I have to go. And Jerry kind of looked across the street, saw the gates of the cemetery, didn't see a whole lot else at that time frame In the 1930s, that area probably wasn't very well built up, and said, well, okay, um, 
you can go here, but can I walk you where you need to go? And he said, she pointed at him and said, where I'm going, you can't follow. Got out of the car and disappeared into the gates of the cemetery. Now the story that was told on Unsolved Mysteries is that the next day, Jerry and his brother go to the address that she gave them on South Damon Avenue. They knock on the door, an elderly woman answers the door, and they say they're here to see Mary. They had danced with her in a ballroom last night, but they were afraid that she might not have gotten home safely because she kind of just disappeared near their car. And the lady initially kind of shoes them out the door like, no, there's nobody that lives here by that name. And then they see a picture above the mantle on the fireplace of the girl. And they're like, no, that's her right there. That's the girl we were dancing with last night. And then the lady says, okay, that is my daughter, Mary, but there is no way you could have been dancing with her last night. She died several years ago in a car crash. That's one of the most famous Resurrection Mary stories. Another one is the Ralph the Cab Driver story. January of 1979, before one of Chicago's biggest snowstorms, this cab driver, who he just called himself Ralph. Normally, Ralph's pickup and drop-off area was around O'Hare Airport. He picked up somebody at O'Hare who needed to go down in the southwest suburbs along South Loucher Avenue. So he decided, Ralph did, after he dropped that fare off, snow was already starting, that he was going to call it a night and head back home. Ralph says that he was having a hard time, not being that familiar with the area, having a hard time finding the area to get back on the expressway. So he pulls up this little corner. He sees a woman standing out there, and it's like probably 20 degrees out and snowing. But this woman is only wearing a dress and high heels. He thought, well, maybe he'll see if the woman's okay, and maybe she can help give him directions to where he's got to go. So he pulls up and asks the woman, is everything okay? And she said, I need a ride. And he said, well, if you could direct me to get back to the um, expressway, I'll take you wherever you need to go, no charge. So she gets in the car. She says, just go down Archer Avenue. He's like, okay. He's trying to make some small talk with her. He said she's really not having it, not answering his questions. Just kind of stares out the window. And she makes a comment, the snows come early this year. As they get near the gates of Resurrection Cemetery, she jumps up from the back seat of her car and points at the gates and is like, here, 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 this is where I gotta go. Ralph slams on the brakes of the cab and he looks around and he's like, lady, there's nothing here. Where do you gotta go? And she points into the cemetery at this little shack and says, there. And again, he turns around to say to her, well, lady, I don't see anything here. I don't know where you got to go. But he says when he turned around that, and this is his exact quote, may the good Lord strike me down. But when I turned around, she was not there. And that cab door never opened. 